Good afternoon, I'm Mr. Ish. Thank you for joining me for this video. You've seen something like this before. This specific representation represents a very common property of a circle. We have a circle here with the center O. You know you've generated a vertex here with regards to a, an angle and another one right here stemming from the center. You know this property to be true that this angle over here will always be half of that angle there or you could say y is equal to 2x. Very formally I've written the fact here the angle BOC which is this angle right here as you see will be twice this angle BAC. You just have to prove that to be the case. You can look this up this specific geometric property related to circles. You've seen it probably at the high school level and maybe even in college. We are going to prove this to be true and it's actually very easy to do so. There are several ways to do this. I'll show you my way of doing it. Bring everything here with regards to a semicircle. You have a certain center here O. You have a certain end point of a diameter A. And we're not worrying about that end point. But we are certainly calling this here B. As you can see it, you can connect. And you formed exactly as you see a halfway through semicircle with everything depicted as you would see it. You know this right here represents a radius, this right here represents a radius, this represents a radius because this right here is the center. If you remember that specific property, the endpoints of a diameter connected to any point on the circle will always generate in 90 degrees and that angle right there is 90 degrees. If you want to call this angle X, equal angles oppose equal sides, this must be an X. If you look at this specific triangle over here, you have generated an X and an X. We don't need to worry about that. But this right here is a 90 degrees. Therefore, this right here is complementary. You can say it's a 90 minus X. This here is a radius. This here is a radius. Equal angles opposing equal sides. This here must also be 90 minus X. We'll call this angle right here Y. We're looking here at this smaller triangle. Now we've generated 90 minus X plus another 90 minus X plus a y, the sum of the internal angles must equal 180. This, this, this cancel out. We have minus 2x plus y is equal to 0. y is equal to 2x. And that's about all you have to do. Since we're looking everything here with regards to half, it doesn't matter. It would still have applied with regards to a whole. This entire angle would be half that entire angle. This entire angle here is always twice that angle over there. Remember this. It's a very easy one to prove. And that's about all there has to be said with regards to this specific circle property. Thank you for watching.